This is Skydrift from Digital Reality for Xbox 360. This was also available on PlayStation 3 and PC, and it was originally released September 7th, 2011, delisted October 5th, 2015, which gave it about four years and a month of availability. Let's go ahead and do the tutorial here. I have not played this one previously. Always been a fan of airplane racing. From the Rocketeer to Engen Racing, Crimson Skies, Skygunner. Welcome to the Sky Drift tutorial. The first lesson will teach you the basics of plane control. Sure enough, right stick is knife Use edge. The left stick to control your plane. Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Use the right trigger to accelerate. Perfect. Use the left trigger to slow down. What do you mean, slow down? Good. Every plane can use a temporary speed boost. You can see how much boost you have in the bottom right corner. To use your boost, press the A button. Cool. Very cool. You get boost by performing stunts, destroying other planes, as well as defending yourself and converting power-ups. Flying close to the ground gives you boost. The longer you hug the ground, the more boost you get. You can also fly in knife-edge position, which helps with turning and getting through tight spaces. Right stick to the left or right to fly in knife edge position. Congratulations. Whoops. You'll make a fine racer. Very nice. You're already halfway Whoop. through. You can practice what you just learned and keep flying if you wish. Or you can push the back button to go to the next lesson of the tutorial. Very good. Let's move to the next lesson. The second lesson will teach you about the power-ups. There are various power-ups in Skydrift. To pick up a power-up, simply fly through the icon. Pick one up now. All right. To use a power-up, press the X button. Do it now. Awesome! You can have two different power-ups at any given time. Pick up two different power-ups now. Very good! You can switch between your power-ups by pushing the change power-up button. Do it now. Excellent. Oh, not allowed to sneak through there. Power-ups to get boost. Press the B button now to do it. Resurrection. Good. Every power-up can be upgraded to the second level by picking up another power-up of the same type. Level 2 power-ups are more powerful and give you more boost when you convert them. An exploding plane is not the end in Skydrift. 
Just wait a bit to respawn and get back in the action. The next section will teach you how to use each power-up. Good! Missiles need to lock before launching in order to hit their target. Hold the X button for a short time to fire all your missiles now. Congratulations! Pick up a cannon now. The cannon power-up keeps firing bullets as long as you have ammo and keep the X button pushed. Fire all your bullets now. Superb! The shield power-up protects you against hostile power-ups. Use it now. All right! Whenever your plane is damaged, use the repair power-up to restore its health. Use the repair now. Cool! The shockwave damages and slows down enemies around you. Use it now. Congratulations! You can lay down mines using the mine power-up. Use this to create an explosive gift for the players behind you. Use a mine now. Awesome! You can practice what you just learned and keep flying if you wish. Or you can push the back button to finish the tutorial. Congratulations. This concludes the tutorial. All right. Just like their other release, Big Bang Mini. Or Big, Big Bang Mini. That's not the right game. Bang Bang Racing. It's not a bad looking game. And not bad playing. It's maybe a little simple. Uh, this plane reminds me more of... Change plane. Change skin. Of Crimson Sky, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Also, like Bang Bang Racing, it maybe seems a little plain, a little simple for, uh, for a release in even uh, 2011. Like I had, I had said in, in that video of uh, Bang Bang Racing, um, like there, this would have been a better release earlier on in the Xbox 360's life cycle. I killed Dr. Nerd, not, oh, Dr. Ned. Man, I wish his name was Dr. Nerd. Nope, I totally missed that. Oh, did not take as much to crash as in the tutorial. Immortal.
Well, what? Great. Not entirely sure what pushed me into that wall. Also, I thought I thought this race was over here. You are victorious. Seems like there should be a way to do a barrel roll. But anyways. All right, there's an unlock system and rankings and all of that good stuff. Buy it now. Uh, sorry to tell you, I can't. Uh, I said also in the Bang Bang Racing video, um, digital reality is a Hungarian developer. Um, they have not had any updates on their website, on their Facebook page or their website since 2013. So it seems like they went out of business, went bankrupt. I'm not sure the exact nature of it. Uh, but both this game and Bang Bang Racing were delisted on the same day or around the same time frame in 2015. October 2015, if you did not catch that from before. And one more time, like Bang Bang Racing, it's not a bad game. It just seems like a little, a little late, like it would have been great in 2008 or 2007 or something. It doesn't look bad. Even today, in 2015, it has an, a nice enough style that it's not going for realism, but it still looks and, and performs. Maybe even, best of all, it still performs well. Obstacles overtake. Let me just make sure that head on towards each other with another player and near miss him. Chase to death, cannon kill, missile kill, shot kill, mine kill. Okay, I apparently did not miss a barrel roll or a loop. Not a whole lot of options there. And the credits. Can I speed this up at all? No. Well, while I have it up here and we are sitting through the credits, at least I think I have it up here. Digital Reality Software, some of the other games that they've been behind. Uh, I don't believe they created Cinemora. Uh, yeah, they worked with Grasshopper Manufacture. That's right and old-timer digital reality. Uh, that game is still available, I believe, on all the platforms, uh, but their own, seems like these were their own titles, Skydrift and Bang Bang Racing. Uh, they also worked on Black Knight Sword. Uh, Dead Block, another delisted game we'll have coming up here. Liberty Wings. Trying to read this font. Scarabus, Pearls of Nile, Warfront, War on Terror, D Day, Africa Corps vs. Desert Rats, which I personally know that as Desert Rats vs. Africa Corps. That logo is a little misleading. Desert Rats. Okay, I think that is the correct title. Uh, that is a fantastic um, Command and Conquer style. RTS game. So they've kind of been all over the place. Uh, Platoon, based on the movie. Hegemonia, Hegemonia Legions of Iron, Imperium Galactica, Black Knight Sword, Reunion, and Imperium Galactica. 
And just because we're still running through these credits here, um, again, I have not heard from them from their own website or their Facebook page since 2013, it looks like, were the last updates. Take a look real quick here. August 30th, 2013. Attention, Cinemora fans. Game is on sale on Google Play and iTunes this weekend. So if they are still in business, are still working on a project, uh, they have been radio silent for quite some time. It also looks like their Twitter page had uh, disappeared. Um, looking at their community forums page, the most recent activity <clears throat> one day ago, as of this recording, uh, is titled The Perfect Cheat Sheet for Using a Corporate Movers and Packers Firm. No matter if you will be relocating to some sort of one-room company or a big firm, the right moving corporation helps make all of the distinction in the world. So, they've got some spam posts going on in their forums that that no one has caught so i think they are out of here and i don't know that there is too much left to check out so i think i'll uh i'll just turn the microphone off for now and say thank you for watching and look for some more delisted videos already up on my channel and more coming soon